Now we're going to go back to the very traditional look of an all white, which you know most of my moms want the brides to carry all white, where most brides want to carry all color now. But I'm kind of like the moms. When you get your, in 20 years and look at your pictures, you're going to look at your pictures and go, hate my hair, hate my dress, but aren't my flowers beautiful? So there's nothing more traditional and more elegant than an all white bouquet. I'm going to do it a little bit different though. We're going to make a very vintage garden style bouquet. You're going to be using allium, which this actually is a form of garlic. And this is stock. We have blizzard roses, which are white roses, just a hint of cream. White hydrangeas. And then we have dusty miller, which is a beautiful foliage with a base of gray and silver to it. Very simple bouquet, only takes minutes to put together, but something that's kind of timeless. And we're going to use three of our hydrangeas. Then we'll go back and start adding our roses. And we're going to insert those at different levels of the bouquet. So there's that. You might all go back and lift one or two up to give it more depth as well. So you insert one down, pull one up, pull that one. So there's more dimension to the bouquet when you look at it at an angle. Not everything's flat, basically. Now we'll go back with a clumps of white stock. And the reason why we use this is because it gives it a kind of a tone chatone look, meaning it's tone on tone with a bright white on top of the cream white. That. I'm going to pop that one out just a little bit there. Then we'll insert, insert this one down into the middle. Okay. Now I don't get too concerned about petals that are up that are not perfect when we start this out. We're going to wait to the very end and we're going to take all the bruised petals off because right now we're working hand, doing a lot of hand work. They're getting kind of beat up even more. Now we'll go back with our allium and we'll insert these. And I'm going to insert these in twos and threes as well. And this just gives us a little bit more of a frilly garden look. So when we finish, it actually is going to give us the feel of what a traditional wedding bouquet would look like with stephanotis, which is the white little wedding flower. It's just stephanotis tends to be a lot of times very expensive, and we can get the same look or same feel in the bouquet with something a little bit less. Now we're going to go back with our Dusty Miller, and this is what we're going to color the whole bouquet with. And when we do that, that makes everything else kind of stand up. So when we finish, hopefully, we have a beautiful vintage garden look, like the bride went out in the yard into the garden and picked her flowers. There's a lot of texture with these beautiful leaves. We'll go back and pull these few little petals off that got a little bit breeze while we're working with them. And then we're going to tape this bouquet off. To there. Now we'll take our cutters. And we always want to make sure that we kind of I actually give it like a, I call it a haircut when I finish. I Meaning I'll go back in and kind of trim some of the longer things out, and I'll also go back in and trim some of the stems out, so it doesn't make such a, for such a thick handle. Now we'll finish it off with a little double-faced satin ribbon, and this is just to cover the mechanics. I'm gonna tie it backwards so you can watch me while I do it. I'm gonna take this. This is the trick that I do. You tie it off like that. And then we're going to take some really cool streamers. Put that in here. Now you take them where you've tied the first bolter ribbon, not bolter ribbon, tied the ribbon. You're going to tie it like that. Into there. Catch it one more time where you tied it before. And for just a little bit of nostalgia, I like to take it and do little love knots. So when you finish, you have a beautiful bouquet with a little bit of movement. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about how to make a wedding bouquet with me today. We've covered three different looks all together. We've done a vintage garden, which is the traditional all white with hints of cream. And then we've done the non-traditional organic bouquet, which had succulents and orchids. And then our last bouquet was using just really bright, fun colors for the girl that doesn't like the traditional at all. We're going to start doing, be doing a lot more of this type of video from our design center at Tiptonhurst. So we hope that you come back to see us again.